Hi! <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the Need, Need Money for College Picking Show. Show. I'm Jason. I'm Jess. And we're here to get you to subscribe and tell <laughs> your friends so we can earn money because Jazz needs to go to college. And college is really expensive. It is. So, um, I am talking more than I probably should because I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm the guest it's okay. chef. He's my dad and he usually films everything. I am the usually the one making noise behind the screen trying to keep the animals quiet. <laughs> So this recipe is a copy of one written up, written by my stuff. mother. I don't know what. I don't you did. know what I did. It turned out okay, but a right. little something. So brief history on the on the recipe. My great grandmother apparently got this out of a Southern Living magazine um, sometime in the 30s. I was told. I was told. Okay. I wasn't around, so I don't know. Then my grandmother <laughs> the started chocolate. making it. You both, yeah. Then my mother made it, and it was delicious. And then I started making it, and it was delicious. But here's what we've done that's a little bit different. We made ours gluten-free. That's one. Obviously, because we have family members that need to eat gluten-free. Yep. And the second thing we do is we make it vegan. Quite honestly, it's been better. It's Especially the frosting. Yeah. So oh, that I think being I said, little, like something in the frosting. I'm talking too much. That was supposed to be a short explanation, and I. It's okay. You just gotta shut me up. Let's get cooking. All right. So, so uh, what we're gonna do first? Wait, first do we have rice milk? Very first thing. I didn't pull it out of the fridge yet, but oh. I will. First thing needs to happen. We have to grease the bottom of the pan uh, and the edges of the pan. We get a chunk of Crisco, and then you just rub it all around. Like it's that. the same technique that you would use For if you butter. were using butter. Sure. Ow. Very cool. Are you okay? And it's slippery. It's a very crucial step for any cake that you're making. All right, you should do the other one. Yeah, I should. That's yeah. a good idea. Then, take a touch of flour and we take some gluten-free flour and put it in there. And, you need it, and then just start. You gotta get the edges too, because hopefully your cake rises. And you know, there you go. All done. Yeah. So first things first, we gotta mix our dry ingredients. We need two cups of flour. How much baking soda? Oh, and xanthan gum. Oh yeah. Two cups of flour. Oh, we forgot the yeah xanthan gum. So I, I don't put what more a, a teaspoon. The, a teaspoon. I measure this, and like a flat teaspoon. Okay. Perfect. Oh, what's the flour? I'm taping. What's the flour mix? <laughs> Sorry, this honey. Glu Gluten-free flour. That's our flour mix. If you're I using don't know, cups, I don't mix it. if you're using cups, <laughs> three cups white rice flour, one cup potato starch, and half a cup tapioca starch. <laughs> You can also buy gluten-free flour. Like I know Bob's mill has Which we got some. that recipe from but a very good friend of ours. Um, it's we got it, I think, from celiac.com. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. But that's a really great website if you're a celiac. Okay. So what did we put in so far? Flour and xanthan gum. Right. So then we you need, need a uh, half a teaspoon. Okay. The a teaspoon soda. Yeah. Yeah. A Is teaspoon that what that soda. Says? Yep. Yay much salt. And two tablespoons cocoa. This is Hershey's. It's not sponsored. Ooh, it's messy. Ooh. Four. Awesome. This is messy. So now the instructions say sift all these together. I go through with a fork, though I do all I do mix it all together. It mixes the dry ingredients so you don't get if you have clumps, you don't have a clump of cocoa or a clump of flour. You have if you get a clump, it's a clump of all the ingredients. That makes sense. Makes sense? For me. That makes sense. Other Good people boy. want to comment by all means. Set aside. We're going to cream the shortening and the sugar. So you need half a cup of shortening. So when you're measuring shortening, and my mother taught me this, it's like when you measure brown sugar, you have to pack it. Shortening is kind of the same thing. I never do that. Thing. I don't know. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. The world won't end if you don't. I don't think 
but with shortening, you do that and do that. That's a quarter cup. That's a quarter cup, right? And we need another one. Oh yeah, there's enough. Not enough. Plenty. You're like just off. No, you're missing some. Nope. Full. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> I've been making cakes longer than you've been alive. True. At least Very this true. cake, anyway. <laughs> one and a half cup sugar. Here's one. That was like almost a half. Okay. Oh, that's enough. That's good to me. Alright, cream that please. We're going to put the egg replacer in the dry ingredients. Because what you're supposed to do with egg is put it in the cream, the, yeah. the shortening and the sugar together, and then add egg. But since we're not adding egg, oh. it's at three teaspoons of egg replacer will replace the two eggs, because one and a half teaspoons of egg replacers equals one egg. However, in my mixture, I double that. I don't double any other ingredient, but I do double the egg replacer, because I've found that that is, that works. Oh, we were going to use... We were going to try the vegan, well, but you can just continue too late. the way that you were going to do One. <laughs> two. You have to prep that, and you need like water, and you need to whisk it. Three. And then it becomes a smelly, jelly mess. Four, but it works. It looks like egg. Five, six. Okay. Why did you put six? Because I doubled it. I just explained that. Oh to the my camera. god! <laughs> if you rewind and watch, so pause while you rewind. Screaming. Pause. There. Do you see? <laughs> I was creaming sugar and crispy. Yes, you were. Get the rice milk. And you need one cup of rice milk. Rice. For this recipe, I prefer rice milk because it doesn't have the extra flavor. Like almond milk sometimes can add True. flavor, soy milk can add flavor. Mm -hmm. Rice milk is really unflavored as far as mixing in a cake. And it is more smooth. Wait till you see the icing. Then you will understand why the rice milk is so important. The icing is so oh. What did you do? <laughs> During lunch, me and my friend one time had a huge bottle of vinegar and a huge thing of baking soda uh, and we just dumped it all together for fun and it was in the sink in the science classroom. It was good. Cool. <laughs> Why not? Yay science. Yep. I'm going to alternately add wet and dry ingredients. So this is important. As you're, as you're mixing our what we've creamed together, we forgot one thing, vanilla. <gasps> so you're alternating. Here we go. Ready? Start mixing. Now you're going to want to slow How it down. How much red food coloring are you putting in so there? So I'm putting two ounces, two red ounces. I have got batter up my arm. Yeah. So this is the part that can get really messy and it doesn't come out of your grandmother's carpet. Now don't mix so fast because it'll splatter and it does not come out, this stuff. You add it slow. did it, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. It happens. I don't know where it went. I know it's it got every, all Oh, it's things. everywhere. Yeah, oh, our table has oh. red dots for the rest of our lives. Okay. So the rest of these, see any more of these episodes, and you see red dots <laughs> from like the overhead <laughs> cam, you know that it, they were put there during the red velvet cake episode. My hand's a mess. Yes, it is. Uh, that will come out when you are 34. Now, we have to pour it in here. So pour half the batter into that and half the batter into that one. This is where a spatula wouldn't come handy. Yeah, it would have. Oh well. All right, next. Okay, next. 
You know what? I wanted to tell. I wanted to tell uh, everybody here. So, when your mother and I met many moons ago, we, you know, you're in that stage where you're learning about your new partner and you're getting, <laughs> getting to know things about each other. Uh -huh. And one of the things I thought I'm gonna. I'm going to share with this woman that I've, I've fallen in love with and I, I know I want to spend the rest of my life with her and I'm going to share my great grandmother's red velvet cake mm. recipe. So I made red velvet cake and your mother loved it. She loved it. She, oh my gosh, this is so yummy. This is so good and the icing, that's amazing. I've never had such icing. And that was about 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening. I had dinner, oh, and then we had whoa. red velvet cake, and it was lovely. And we sat and we watched, I think we watched some TV or whatever, and then it was time for bed. Here's the thing about your mother. Your mother reacts to sugar in a most interesting way. And red velvet cake. Oh, thank you. That woman was up till 4 in the morning. At one point, literally bouncing on the bed, saying, Wake up! Wake up! Play with me! Get up! Play with me! What are you doing to sleep? There's no time to sleep! What are you doing? I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Um, I've preheated the oven uh, to 365. Now, it, the instructions say 350, um, but out here... Uh, for whatever reason, a little bit higher temperature works better. We are literally, uh, we're at about, I don't know, 50 feet above sea level. How do you so, know that? Because I know things. And Dad, they know things. Where? Ta -da. That's right. So we pop, pop that in there for uh, so many minutes. Um, it says 25 minutes, but we're going to check it in about 15 to 20. And we'll do the um, toothpick test. Toothpick? Oh, I got it from the sugar container. Yeah, well, you got it everywhere. Welcome back! <laughs> We're gonna take it out of the oven. It's been in there for about 20-ish minutes. 25-ish minutes, really. Yeah, quite easy, cha-cha. Take I don't it nice and easy. Mine. Ooh, looking good. Toothpicks! Toothpicks. Boink. Done. That is done. And they're done! So, now, they cool. So stick you your camera to right here. Nice Just time stay time. here for about three and a half hours and they'll cool as you watch. And just like that, they're cool. I'm just kidding. They're not cool <laughs> yet at all. We're actually going to pull them out of the pan, put them on cooling racks. They're still really hot. Yeah, they have to cool overnight. But We're going to take hot. these out of the pans. Yes. They are. However, this is how I do it. Oh yeah. This is how it happens. No, no, no. Are we going to do it together? Like that? I guess. Okay, but you we're going to turn it toward us. Right. I was actually going to do this. This is how I no, flip it over. No, it's going to slip out the side. No, it's not. Watch. Ready? I don't trust it. I know. Jess hates it when we do <laughs> stuff like this. But, move your hands. Watch. Ah! Have a panic attack. Are you ready? Oh yeah, oh yeah, boom. That is how I do it. Ta-da! I haven't have done too anything much energy for your handle. So <laughs> that's true. But you see, they were greased and floured perfectly. Okay, that might break. Or not! Hey! Okay, we're gonna let these cool overnight. We're gonna ice them later on. Wow, it's a whole new day. And the cake is cool, and then we can start our icing. This is from rice milk, and then so we're rice milk shortening and flour, just a little bit of flour to help the the um, thickening. So we've got to make a thick white sauce. So what we do for that? We're gonna prep that right here before we go over to the stove. So we need two cups of uh, rice milk. So we'll do that. I, I I double it now. My recipe calls for one. But I never end up having enough, and I really like this icing. So I make two cups. I double the icing. Better to have more icing than too yeah. little. Only one tablespoon of shortening in this milk. Actually, one more. Do one more. Okay. Because we're doubling it, so we can do it. That's enough. That's plenty. 
six tablespoons of our gluten-free flour. You didn't know these big spoons that you use in eating are a tablespoon. We're gonna go over to the stove, put a little heat on, and whisk it up. As a matter of fact, if you stay right there, we'll go do that, we'll come back and I'll show you. It's gonna turn into like a paste. It's gonna look like glue. We'll be right back. Welcome back. As you saw from our little insert there, you saw the mixing. So it went from this really runny milk, just mm -hmm. rice milk, right? Like really watery, to now it's like a paste, like a thick like glue. What my mother taught me how to do is you put it in the refrigerator, but you have to let it cool and that cools the outside. Then you have to kind of stir it again and then let that cool Wait, in the fridge. how long do you put it in the refrigerator? It, it depends. We're gonna let this cool off, and when it cools off to room temperature, then I'll show you how to put the rest of it together so that it becomes the most wonderful ice. It's, it's honestly the best frosting it's ever. Amazing. Yeah. Be right back. Hey! Just like that, everything's cool. So now our nice thick paste is room temperature. Which is whatever temperature the room is. Right, and you can do that by doing that. See? It's just, yeah, I was going to say, it's... It's not good yet. Shortening flour and rice milk. It's uh, not good yet. We have to take one cup of white sugar, one cup of vegetable shortening, and all of this stuff. And vanilla. And, yes. This is bourbon vanilla. Teaspoon and a half-ish. You can estimate. Yeah, give or take. So, <laughs> what we do is... Um, we cream the shortening and the sugar first. Start mixing that. You're gonna cream the vanilla and the sugar, okay? I mean the not the vanilla and the, the sugar. Lard, we're gonna, the, the yeah, vegetable the vegetable lard. shortening and the sugar, and then we're gonna add the vanilla. Uh, yay much. That was about a teaspoon. Well, a teaspoon and a half, teaspoon, teaspoon like that. Oh, we gotta double it. I forgot. Oh yeah, so you need more than that. About that much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, now, okay. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get in trouble if my family is watching this because I didn't use clear vanilla because that's a big thing. Because look how the vanilla, see how the vanillas turn the color of the, of the shortening and the sugar from white to this sort of cream, creamy color. It's the sides. I don't have a problem with that. I never did, and I like bourbon vanilla, and bourbon vanilla is not clear. So, stop. So now, we're gonna slowly add this mixture, the, our cream, uh, our paste mixture, and we're gonna add that a little bit at a time. And that's actually going to lighten it up and it's gonna get closer to white. So I never worried about the whole clear vanilla. In fact, I don't think I've ever- I never heard of clear vanilla. There's such a thing. And your thumb is now covered. That's perfect. Mixed. Ta-da! Okay. Feel free to look at the beaters. Oh yeah, that's really yummy. Uh, that's good, thanks. Yeah. Mm. Mm. We had our cake cooling overnight, which is always wise. So put a layer. Too much. Perfect amount. Ooh, that's a big... That's it's a lot. perfect amount. Okay. Works for me. It's yummy icing. It's delicious icing. And then, of course, that becomes your middle layer. And then your second layer. Ooh, yeah. Notice Jazz is doing the icing. <laughs> Why? Because my wife and I have both have the same affliction. When it comes to decorating cakes, we just don't do it very well. You see. I think we're both impatient. I think You're that's so what it boils impatient. down to. We don't have the... Although, see, you don't seem like you're... I mean, I it doesn't do take Here, very long. Let me try. You're using a knife? No! Yeah, yeah that's what... We... Get a spatula. No, I don't get need a spatula. spatula. I can use a knife. Look. Get a spatula. Well, I'm going to do the edges. I'll do get, the edges. Get a spatula Watch. or a spoon. I'll do the edges. It'll make it smooth. Watch. 
But see? Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Oh, it's still right over there. There we go. Oops, sorry. Don't it's better to use case. a spatula or a spoon just because it's easier. Spoon? Yeah. Never iced a cake with a spoon. Wow. Uh -huh. Give me a look. Wow, that's. A... <laughs> Do it. Okay, that might be too much frosting. Might be. Might have overdid it a little bit. All right. Well, the point is. When you're done, you will have a beautiful red velvet cake, as beautiful as it is. We're done. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Look yes, at this. we are. Look, no, we're going to eat it now. No, look, no look, I can't look. wait anymore. We're going to eat. Look. Ta da! Cake. This we'll get some forks. Mmm. We get my knife. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of icing. Okay, we did overdo <laughs> it on the icing. But I love the icing. The icing's though. really yummy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anybody else grow up with WrestleMania? Alright. <laughs> that was a little tribute to Randy Savage. There we go. The first taste in. Good? That's it's delicious. Awesome. Great. I want some too. See if you have the extra icing on the top and you and you get a piece that doesn't have enough icing oh. on it, you can just be like, mm, need more icing. Smart. Mmm, that's so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That was really good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, again, my only issue with my own change of this recipe is I don't have the large fluffy cake piece. It's not, it looks dense, but it doesn't taste dense. It doesn't have mm -hmm. that thick it's a chewiness. Very light like a, it's that's very light. That's the dangerous part about it, is that it think you like... You eat it and it's so light and yeah. fluffy and you're like, oh, I didn't eat any cake at all. I'm going to have another slice. And then you have like three slices and you're like, what did I do? Yeah. <laughs> and then you go crazy. Like right. My mom. Like my wife. Yeah. 20 years. <laughs> awesome. All right. So that's Red Velvet Cake. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe because Jazz needs to go to college. College is really expensive. So subscribe, tell yeah. your friends, sponsor. Tell Thanks everyone for you watching. Know. I'm gonna eat the rest of this cake. Yay. Yeah. Thank you. You guys have to eat this before I eat it all. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Uh -huh.